Bring them over. Down. <coughs> get up and follow me. To where? Don't ask any question. Just get up. Follow me. Dickie! Where are you taking her to? Why are you taking her to? What do you call Obodeze? You have a beautiful name. You're so young and beautiful. I'm beginning to fall in love with you. Love of the flesh? with you from a pure heart. Why were you singing that sorrowful song? My father sold me because he hates my mother. He has so many wives. I am the only child of my mother. Very sad. I'm sorry about it. Like your kingsman said, by tomorrow, where will I be? In love or in the grave? Tomorrow is very beautiful. Let's wait for it. I want you to stop crying. Tell me, will I ever see my mother again?
lives. You will see your mother again. I promise you that. My father, King Asama, reigned for over five decades. But here he lies. He lies rotten and smelling. And it's been five days since Obidike and Abalanza left for Uru to buy the seven slaves will be used at his barrier. What is happening? They are still in the forest of Akama. They could not see any veggie. So they headed to Obududene. They will arrive by sunset and your father will be buried at night. As a more, the tradition stipulates three days. If we have to wait this long, it will be the sixth night. My father's Barrier are going to be different. Things change, my prince. And that is of nature. The gods will understand. Very well. Very well. Who is going to be the next king after my father? According to tradition, the next king should come from Ndingu. But I see no man eligible and capable of ruling over the decade. But there is one man, Abaranzi. He has his eyes on the throne. Abalanze will not be king. Thunder strike me dead. If he ever ascends that throne, who else will then? I will be king. That is against our tradition, my prince. Things change. That's the way of nature. Like Ezemo has just said. Gods will understand why I should be king. Are you okay? Of the water and put the chance back. Hold it. 
Don't put the chains. Let them go like this. Why? They are already on hand chains. They cannot escape. So they will go like this. We're going to go across the water. Stop. Stop. Stop singing that sorrowful song. You are not lost. You are not lost. Move it! I suggest that we pass through Ofiago than pass through Akama Forest. You and I know that Akama people eat human beings and they live in that forest. I do not want to be eaten and digested in the bellies of another man. Fear is the greatest enemy of success, Abadanze. We are from Obudodike, the land of the brave. We are not afraid of any man born of a woman. I hope you remember that. Even the man that the God protects, protects himself too. Listen to that drum, you can hear it. That signals danger. I suggest we pass through Ofiago. My heart is my God and my fear is my enemy and weakness. I'm not afraid. Every one of you know that Ofiago is a very long distance to our land. And you all know that there are wild snakes, wild pythons there. I would rather pass through Akama and fight the people of Akama than be swallowed up by snakes in Ofiago. So we pass through Akama village. Obidike, please. I am the only son of my father. I don't want to be eaten by these evil people. Please. If you decide to pass through the forest, I, Awarase, will not go with you. I will not! I rather pass through of Yago. I am still the commander of the Tiki Warriors. Until you become the king. No way! I am passing through of Yago. That is the way to Mofia. You may leave now. The rest of you come with me. That's the voice of Abaranze. He must be in trouble. I have to go and rescue him. And what if they attack us in your absence? You fight like a man. You're not a coward. I smell danger. Get ready to fight. We are the Akamas. And this is our forest. Who are you people? And what are you looking for? We are from Obudu We 
just want to pass through your forest to make our journey faster. Yakuza! My chandelier! Show are one of the people that come into the forest. Still our wives are children and make them your slaves. No, we are not. We just want to pass through your forest. The slaves that we have are not yours. They are not your children. Neither are they your wives. We bought them from another land, far from this place. I will let you pass! But first, you have to come with us to our kingdom so that our people will examine those slaves that they are not from our land. We are in a haste and we cannot come with you. But it's a must! I will force you if you say no. You don't have to be afraid. Come with us. We will give you water to drink and food to eat. Thank you, my good friend, but we are not hungry, neither are we thirsty. We have to go. But if you must force us, then you will have to kill me first before you can take the slaves where I kept them. <laughs> <laughs> About their return. They are coming with seven slaves. Only five of them are veggies. What? What? What happened? Obidike and Abalanze defied two of the veggies. want to hear that again. I don't deserve it. Bring it here. Let me have it! Ikenya, my prince, your father, our late king, is yet to be buried. Wear the crown, the regalia, parading and acting like a king. Abalanze. I, I was your prince today. I am your king. You are not my king. You are not my king. We have a tradition, and you know it. My clan is supposed to produce the next king, not your clan. You are going against our tradition. Tradition changes, and tradition has changed. My father, the king, was supposed to be buried on the third night. Today is the seventh night. He's still here. Look at him. Look at him. Rotten and smelling like a bloated frog. Yet, our tradition, our gods could not do anything about it. That does not give you any right. You know, Abalanza, 
talk so much about tradition, which you are simply unable to keep. No! You were supposed to return after two days, but no. No, Abalanze, you were busy in the forest carousing and defiling the slave girls. The slaves that you were supposed to bring to my father's barrier. Yet. And yet the gods did not strike you dead. And the sky is still there. He has not fallen. There's a more. Permit me to ask. Please, tell us. What have the gods said concerning the throne? Ikenga is the chosen king. What? And the gods are with him. We must accept and honor him as king. Things are changing. And I can't tell why the gods are silent. Mama, Majesty. My king. 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 The gods are angry with both of you. You must go and replace the two virgins before nightfall. Failing to do just that, you will incur the wrath of the gods. And Oroko will strike you to death. There's the more. My king, an elders of our three clans, I greet you all. Please, Ezemo, before I leave, I have something to say. Say it. There is no time. Since our tradition has been tinkered with, and it's very obvious that things are falling apart, I would suggest that we change some of our barbaric tradition. Let us change the tradition of the killing of twins in our land. Also, I suggest we change the tradition of sacrificing human beings to our gods. Let us change the tradition of burying our kings with seven virgins when they die. Instead, let us use domestic animals like fowl, cow, or goats to do the sacrifice or even the burial rites of our dead kings. This is my suggestion. Never. Never. King he was. I must give my father a befitting barrier. I must. Ezemo, why don't we consult the gods and tell them what we want? Tell them the changes that we want in our land. And Oroko says no. Go now and get the two virgins. We do not have the luxury of time. 
And our king must be buried tonight. Okay. What about the slaves that were defiled? Can we take them home and make them our slaves? Take them away. The gods shall decide what to do with them. Go! Hold it! Kinga! Kinga! I'll be back! I have a challenge. I don't know if I can get some virgin slaves from you. Yes. Uh, virgin slave. That is going to be difficult because they are scarce these days. I thought as much. I don't know what to do now. I've been to two places. And uh, maybe I'll sell to you my virgin girl. But it's going to cost you a lot of money because she is very beautiful and a good girl. No, I don't want a good girl. I don't want a good girl. Okay, in other words, um, let me sell the bad one to you. But let me remind you, she's spoiled, lazy, stubborn, and above all, she's a thief. Here she is. Good riddance. So I'm now a slave. Of course. Father! Don't yeah, father okay. me. I'm I've, been warning you. You. I've been warning you. That serves you right. We offer you these sacrifices. To appease the spirit of our late king and to fulfill the tradition of our forefathers. The sacrifice may now proceed. You can go. Here. The sacrifice may now proceed. Kill them one after the other. Your Majesty, my King, Elders of our land, please permit me to go home before the killings of these innocent virgins. I do not want to witness it. OBDK, you cannot go home as the sacrifice is over. I'm sorry, my Elders. Your Majesty, I do not want to be part of this anymore. I don't want to see the killings of these innocent virgins. Close your mouth there! Or Oluwoko will close it for you. Your Majesty, I am a man of conscience. And I see no reason why we should kill these innocent virgins just to appease the spirit of the dead. No reason at all. This is absolutely inhuman. And I said you should shut up your mouth. It's my father's 
funeral. My father's burial we're talking about. The dead means nothing to me. But the living means a lot to me. I don't want to be part of this barbaric tradition anymore. I have to go. If you move an inch, there. I will visit you with my anger. Calm down, Your Majesty. Let him go. A tree does not make a forest. The gods will fight their battle. Elders of our land, we want to say we are very sorry. We are both humans and are bound to make mistakes. Please, ask Oroko to forgive us. I want to ask Oroko to please allow us to take those girls as our wives and also their children yet unborn as our children. Abomination! The slave girls belong to Oruko. But if you insist, none of them must give birth to a male child. What if they give birth to a male child? Then both the mother and the child will be sacrificed on the shrine of Uruku. What is this? Mweke, how many times have I warned you not to let Akweke do hard work in this house? How many times? I'm sorry, my husband. I was going to the stream and she volunteered to follow me. She's saying the truth. Please forgive her. What? What? Omina! Stay back, father. Because I won't hesitate to cut you. You hit me and now you threaten to fight me. You have humiliated more than enough. She is my wife! She is my mother! And I have the right to defend and protect her. Obina, we don't need all this. Let's go home. No! Your mother needs us. We have to go home. Obi di kendo obodo di keo ni kwenu ngi ni ijenu Iju wago Ichi embanta Obi di ke Go home Don't bother yourself about me I can take care of myself The king will not kill me He cannot kill me Rather, I will kill him. So, go home. And don't worry yourself. But remember, it is a secret. No problem. The secret is safe with me. I greet you all. Thank you. Obidike is planning to kill the king and what? take over the throne. Obidike? He also wants to change our tradition. How did you know this? Your Majesty, Obidike told me with his own mouth the last time I went to his house. Mbanta, what did you tell him before he said so? You told Obidike that Igwe is plotting to kill him, isn't it? You said so, Mbanta. Your Majesty, you are utterly despicable. You are not to be trusted. You will be punished.
arranged for this. As a more. Your Majesty. Let's hear his punishment. Mbanta, you are to proceed on seven years' exile. You must not step your foot in your house. You must start from here. Now leave. Leave! What do we do about Obidike? Your Majesty, Obidike cannot destroy you or our tradition. Oroko is solidly behind you and our tradition. What about him? I want to kill him. I'm worried. And what is it that troubles your heart? I'm worried about you and I. You have to take things easy. My people need to be free. They need to be free from that bloodthirsty god, Oroko. The world is full of wicked people and barbaric traditions. Yes. My mother gave birth to twins three times. And they were all sacrificed to Oroko. My wife, Ojuko, she gave birth to twins twice. They were also sacrificed at the shrine of Oroko. It's the same in my own fatherland. They killed twins too. My people need to be free. They need to be free from that bloodthirsty God. But they are afraid to speak out. <laughs> there, is, there is something which bothers my heart. I cannot hide it anymore from you. Because you gave me life in the face of death and gave my life and gave my future hope. I still believe in you. <laughs> what is it, my love? Talk to me. What is it? Someone told me that my child and I will be sacrificed to Oroko when I give birth. And that you know about the secrets. Yes, they told you the truth, but I will never let that happen. <laughs> Listen, my love, I will never let you nor my child be sacrificed to Oroko. It will never happen. No, even if it means my people abandoning me. I'll stay and protect you. You will never be sacrificed. Nor my child. It will never happen. Believe me. Obidike. You have to go and sympathize with Okorafo. Remember we all sympathize with you when your wife had twins. I will not go and see him or sympathize with him. They say the evil that men do lives after them. 
This is it. I remember very well when I was clamoring for change of our tradition. Ukurafu stood against me vehemently. Now that same tradition has come to haunt his home, so he should face it. This is a tradition we inherited from our forefathers. It is impossible to change it. There is nothing impossible about Anze. There is nothing impossible. Listen, I have a plan. All I want is your support. What is your plan? You know you're my very good friend. I cannot hide anything from you. I want to kill the king. Yes. I want to kill Ezamo and destroy Oroko Shrine. And that way, I'll change the tradition of this land. When I wanted to kill the king, I seeked for your support. You refused to support me. And now you want to do the same thing I wanted to do then. I will not support you. But as for killing us more, destroying the Oroko Shrine, and changing our tradition, that is not possible. Well, let me ask you, after the king is killed, who becomes the next king? I don't know. Tomorrow will tell. Tomorrow will tell. Yes. I will only support you if I become the next king after the king is killed. I cannot promise you anything. No, because I don't know what the future holds for me. I don't know what my destiny is. Then, count me out. Abayanze! I want you to bury your selfish interest and fight for the freedom of this land. Else, one day, you will fall victim of this barbaric tradition. I chose here because what I want to tell you, I do not want another ear to hear it. Go ahead, I'm out. Yes. OBDK is plotting to kill you. Kill as a more. Destroy the Oroko shrine. And change our tradition. Abalanze. I've heard that before. But what baffles me? Why you, a great friend of Obidike, would choose to betray him and prefer me, the king, sitting on the same throne you yourself said belongs to you. I may not like you as the king, but that does not mean I like better the man who wants to change our tradition. If you were me, what would you do? I know some men in his Igwe kingdom. They can kill him for you. But it will cost a lot. Oji, we'll be making a journey. To where? To her father's land. And you didn't tell me before now. Do you deserve to know before now? 
Anyway, it's a very long journey, so I'll be back in six days' time. As a one in Milly, a canamge. I will do anything to rule my destiny. <laughs> you will pay the price! It will cost you a life. A life? My only son. He is my future. I cannot lose him. You can always have, have a child. child. Sacrifice him. And Mother, it's me, what do you call? What do you call? He saved me from death with his love. Oh, my son, it is well with you. I've never seen a man with conscience and kind heart like you. Thank you very much, mother. Thank you. The gods of our land will continue to protect and guide you. You see? Your enemy shall never defeat you. You say. You will prosper. You say. You shall never lack. You say. Mm. Thank you very much, Mama. I really appreciate your prayers. And um, I want to promise you that as soon as she gives birth, I, I shall come back here to see her father and pay her bride price as tradition demands. Oh, my son. Ah, you have already paid the price. Just take good care of her for me. No, Mama. No. I have to do it the right way. I want to prove my love to the whole world. What you call is not my slave. I want to marry her as my wife. My 
son. You are a great man of love. Not only for my daughter, but for mankind. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama. Whenever I see your face, I see greatness. Please don't stop fighting for the freedom of your people. Be strong. Yes, ma. Thank you very much, mother. Thank you. Um, don't worry. We'll be visiting you from time to time. Hmm? I'm happy. Safe journey. Right. Please take good care of her. Sacrifice to the gods if I give birth to a son. Who told you that? Obidike, your friend. Obidike. But Obidike and I, we are planning to save you and the unborn baby. Matter of fact, we are we want to change the tradition of our land. Please, my lord. I don't want to die. Maybe I should run away. No. You don't have to. told her that. I did not. But because you have said it, I will tell her. Hmm? Yes. Why don't you let the girl go? Why? Because I know you are going to give her for the sacrifice. Listen, Amaranze. I know you love her. But you are afraid of the tradition. So let her go. She will not give birth to a boy. She will give birth to a girl. And what if she gives birth to a boy? Free that girl, Abalanze. You and I know that you will not gain anything from the sacrifice. So let her go. I repeat. She will not give birth to a boy. And what if she does? yourself for the rest of your life. I know you are afraid. I 
I know you love her, but you are afraid of the tradition, so you cannot express that love. But let's change the tradition. I will only join you if you let me be the king. I know what you want. I know what you want. And you will not have it. anymore. The ways of the gods are full of tricks and evil. I cannot worship any other god. I cannot worship any other god. I am the god of my own heart. The battle you are about to face is heavy. And you need a much more protection. And only I, Isika, can protect you. I'm sorry, Isika. I cannot worship you. I said, I cannot worship you, no matter what happens. Your Highness, these are the two men I told you about. They are the strongest you can find around. These men here, they killed Ezebinago. They also killed Njoko Obodo. If you could kill uh, Obinago, then you certainly would be able to deal with Obidike. I want you to skin him alive. Slaughter him like a goat. Bring his head to me. Yes, and um, whatever you demand, I will give you. We can live now. <laughs> <laughs> my, my lord, please, 
I want to ask you for something. What is it? I do not want the name I bear anymore. I want you to change my name. Call me something else. Please. It's a great honor for me to do that. Okay. From today, your name is Chimsom Nazo. Chim Sumnasu. Yes. <clears throat> I like it. I, I, I love it. Chim Sumnasu. Hmm. Yes. Say it again. From today, your name is Chim <laughs> That's him. That's him with, with his slave wife. Rain. I will wet the ground with blows. Mimili. Mimili Jesu. me is the sacrifice for Ruko. Don't be scared of anything, my love. If Ruko wants a child, let him get married and bear children that he will suck their blood, not my own child. Never. And what if I give birth to twins? Never again will my twins be sacrificed to a recall. Never! I have great confidence in you. I can't wait to see the face of my pride. I know he's smiling at me now. Yes, he. Why he? Because I want him to look just like you. Why? Because I want her 
to look exactly like you. <laughs> Why is Boroku keeping silent on Obidike? Even though he has made it clear that he will destroy Uruku shrine, kill Ezemu, and also destroy our tradition. Does it mean that Obidike is stronger than Uruku? Maybe he has a great charm that protects him. Yes. Yes. I think I will offer my son to the water spirit so that she will destroy him once and for all. It's a big price, but I have to pay. Obidike must die. And when I'm done with him, Kingi Kenga. Is a small fly. Dame, please, let's go inside. It's bedtime. I want to lie by your side. Father, you called. Obi Naya, sit down. Now that you are growing into a young man, there are things you should know. There was a big war between the physical and the spiritual world. And as a growing young man, you need to be protected spiritually. So that you become untouchable. Yes, Father. I want to be strong like OBDK. Yes. You will be strong. But first of all, there's a place I will take you to where you'll be fortified. And no man can touch you or harm you. I can't wait to be there. Yes, you will be there. But make sure you don't tell your mother about it. I'm not my mother or anybody else. Make sure you keep your secrets away from all women. Yes, Father. <laughs> Sacrifice I and my son to Oroko. Remember, you saved me from being sacrificed to Oroko. Please, please help me. Help me, please. Please help me. I don't want to die. 
人都出得意，我，我怕人没说的 ，please， please。那一笔苦 ，please。Are doing fine. I heard your slave wife gave birth to a girl. When are you going to stop calling them slaves? Is that not what they are? But I don't have a slave in my house. What I have is a lovely wife. Obidike. Stay away from my family affairs. Don't come to my house to cause confusion. It's okay. So, what is your plan concerning the sacrifice? Are you still going to give your son and your wife for sacrifice? I have no answer for that. Not for now. I would suggest you send her away with her son, or better still, you can run away with her, so that you can save her and save your son. That boy is your blood. Don't forget. Tomorrow is making it seven good days. You are slave girl gave birth to a son. You must bring them for the sacrifice. Yes. Goroko, we will strike you to death. Go and prepare them for the sacrifice. Go! To Oroko Shrine. Uh, 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 yes. I'm afraid. No, Akweke. You do not need to be afraid. This is the shortest path to the land of our exile. Sacrifice of his flesh and blood. Here is his beautiful slave and his son. His flesh and blood. Take them. Take them. Take them and cleanse him of all the abominations he committed against the gods. Our blood will 
be upon your head. From generations to generations, you shall never know peace. You will never hear a cry of a child in your home. Your family shall vanish forever. <laughs> My son. Mother, where are you going to? I'm leaving this village back to my father's house. Why, mother? Your father is a heartless and wicked beast. His hands are stained with innocent blood. Why? I don't want to be part of his victim, so I'm leaving. But what about me? Who will take care of me? Obina, I want you to come with me. No, mother. I can't leave my father land. You will remember this day. I'm leaving. Now the mother is gone. Takes care of me. Let her go. I will marry many wives, and they will take care of you. But there's no love like that of mother. Do not worry. Everything will be all right. Don't you think I should go stay with her? Obina, I think you are right. You will go and stay with your mother. But first of all, you, you remember that place I told you that I would take you to for your protection? Mm. I will go there. You know you are my only son. I don't want to lose you. When are we going? First thing tomorrow morning. I'll go and do what you're doing. Don't worry, we're almost there. We're almost there. I don't think I can go anymore. Let's go, I'm tired. Okay. Let's go home, but tomorrow we will wake up early so that we'll get there on time. Huh? Okay. Let's go. Let's go back.
Now, my slave is gone. My wife, gone. My only child, gone. And I'm left alone. But I have paid my price to rule my destiny. When I, Abalanze, becomes the king, I will marry many wives. I will have plenty children to run around my compound. As a more. I'm afraid. I am afraid of dying. As a more, I'm afraid of Obidike. I have tried everything spiritually and physically possible to kill him, to no avail. Why has Oroko abandoned me? Why? Why? My king. Let not your heart be troubled. Oroko has heard your cry. This is the right time for Oroko to fight his battle. <laughs> Obidike should be buried immediately. No, 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 he's not dead. He's not dead. Shut up, woman. A slave does not speak in the presence of the king. Take her out of my presence. I beg of you, I beg of you, he's not dead. He's... You have to believe me, sir. You have to believe me, he's not dead. OBDK challenge Oroko. Now Oroko has killed him. And Oroko demands his dead body. He will. 
will decay in the shrine of Oroko. And the vultures will feed on his dead body. Only his skeleton will remain there forever. No one, I mean nobody, should sympathize with his family. Take his dead body to the shrine of Oroko. Because I need to be You better run away before the night falls on you in the daytime. OPDK is gone. Gone forever. And as I speak to you right now, your lives are in danger. You have no one to protect you anymore. As for me, you know I have no problem. <laughs> he is not dead. I would rather die for him than run away. Really? <laughs> and what if he doesn't come back to you again? <laughs> this is the fifth day Obidike died. And is still fresh. His body has not decayed. Yes. Meaning there is still life inside of him. Yes. Yes. So I suggest we bury him. Mm. Mm. As a moon. Your Highness. Let us first cut off his head. We we'll behead him now, here and now, and then bury him. <laughs> Oroko has eaten him. His body will begin to decay in seven days. That is how Oroko wants it. Highness, <laughs> there is no cause for alarm. Oroko is in charge. Is it Obidike that did it, or the gods? 
Thank you. alone. <laughs> Take me with you to the land of the dead. But I am not dead. I'm alive. No. You died seven days ago. is happening in Obododike? Eh? Hey! Hey, Zemmo! What is happening in Obododike? Is Oroko still alive? Obodike is alive. He escaped from the land of the dead.
Who are you? How many times would I introduce myself to you? Ah, the seeker, the god of light. What do you want from me this time? I want you to worship me as your god and introduce me to your people for them to worship me as your own god. I gave you my word before and I still stand by it. I will not worship you nor any other god. I am the god of my own heart. I saved you from the pit of death, and you have to pay back. You are my beloved one and my messenger. Let Oroko tell me. If he will still destroy Obidika. If not, will Obidike kill me? If that be the case, let me know so that I can proceed on an exile. Before he does so, brings calamity on this land of Obododike. Oroko will strike Obidike again and he will die slowly with pains. Destroy him. Yes. Abalanza. Gather all the youths of Obododike. Go. Dig a grave as deep as 12 feet. Once he closes his eyes, confirmed dead or not, bury him. Your Highness. of our land. I have known you from my birth till death. I have respected the traditions of our land. Uruko, I am in so much pain. I am in anguish. Why have you forsaken me? The spirit of my son and my wife that I 
sacrifice to you now haunt me. I now live in the forest like a wild animal. Oroko, please come to my rescue. Amaranze, I'm afraid there's nothing Oroko can do for you. Oroko has turned his back on you long ago. Please. Please. Please beg Oroko to have mercy on me. Beg Oroko to rescue me as a mom. Abalanze, you are under punishment from the gods. No mercy for you, Abalanze. No mercy. Obidike said it. You are nothing but a wizard! You are a wizard! And you are powerless God! Why am I obeying you? Why? 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 I judge of Honorable, give your boy check when I give your boy check for it. I want a canal banigua, I want a canal banigua. Hi, Oja Cobolo, Oja Cobolo, Oja Cobolo, Oboga bounce back again, Mianana. Hum! My lord. Why? Are you afraid? I'm not afraid. I'm sick and I cannot fight. We have to go. Where is Ojugo? She's asleep. Wake her up. She has to come with us. And where are we going to? We're going on exile. I don't want what happened the last time to repeat itself. So go inside and get your things and let's leave immediately. Over my dead body! When you were busy committing atrocities against the gods, I was not part of it. I'm sorry. I will not come with you. By sunrise, I will go back to my father's house.
Why do you talk? Do not be afraid. I am harmless to the harmless, but harmful to the wicked. I saved your husband, Obidike, from the hands of death, but he has refused to pay the price. Please. Please, whoever you are, please, forgive him. He's been lying critically ill for the past 11 months now, and he cannot talk, no, eat anything, please. I will make him well again, but he must worship me as his God. And also introduce me to his own people to worship me as their own God also. I beg of you, please. Heal him and we shall worship you for the rest of our lives. Please. I, I, I beg of you, please. Go. He is here. Tell him to go home and free his people from the bondage of the evil God. I'm here. Mama? Mama? Huh? The world has disappeared. It has disappeared. I'm here. What's that? Morgan. My love. My love, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hey! The world is not there. It, it is not by your power, my love. I met a strange god at the stream. And he said, he said he was going to heal you only if you will worship him with your people of Obododike. And, and he's done it. He's done it. I, I know this God. His name is Isika. I've met him before. Almighty Sika! Thank you! Thank you for healing me! Thank you for saving me! Thank you! Go home, my beloved one! I'm ruling your destiny! As soon as the battle is over, no go. Be calm. No, my lord. I must go with you. I can't spend a day without you. Mother will take care of our baby. Please. I have to go with you. I, I should. If she insists, you can go with her. Yeah. I know you went on exile, and I know the only place you can come is your mother now. See, there's no time for me to sit down. No. I'm on a mission. I want to destroy Ikenda and Uruko. And I want you to join me. Me? No. That, 
Mission. Listen, I could be saying. Don't forget what these people did to you. Ikinga took your wife and sent you on an exile for just no cause. Oroko is demanding for human blood every now and then. That is an evil and barbaric tradition. My people, your people in Obododike are suffering every day. But they are afraid to speak. They are afraid to speak out. I want to change everything. I want to stop that evil tradition. And I need you. To support me. Please. 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 Accept the sacrifice of great Lord so that our farms will do well this coming season. Stop the killing! Never! I say never! Nobody disobeys me. Anybody that does that, does so at the peril of his own death. Ikenga, today your reign as king is over. Because you will die. I will destroy you. You will be the last sacrifice to your evil god. No more will you rule my people. You're going to fight the gods. Will you fight the gods? By the power of Isika, the god of light, I destroy you and Uruko. More. I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me. Today, judgment has come for you. Show yourself, Ezemo. Show yourself. You're a baby, Obidike. Listen. It is over for you. By the power of a god! Isika, I destroy you!
My great God, Isika. I worship you. Thank you for liberating my people. Thank you for setting them free from the bondage of Oroko, the dead and evil God. From today, we will no longer worship Oroko, but my people will worship you. Great God, Isika, the God of light. From today, there shall be no more sacrifice of virgins to appease any God. From today, my people shall no longer kill twins. From today, there shall be no more killings of virgins to bury our kings. No more will this be in Obododike Kingdom. We will worship you, great God, Isika, the God of light. I bow before you. Obodike, please be our king. Thank you. 